All right, let's listen to Kevin McCarthy speaking after the vote on Ilan Omar. Father, to kick her off the Foreign Affairs Committee, here he is. He's going to give our State of the Union response. And we're excited about it, especially what she's been able to achieve so far uh, as governor in Arkansas. So I'm very excited by that. We'll also have Juan Siscamani giving a response in um, Spanish as well. As many of you know, Juan's uh, story, immigrating to America, age 11. His father drove the bus in Tucson, Arizona. Um, just a real true American story as well. Um, yesterday I had a meeting with the president. I got to see a pre the president again this morning. Uh, I was like to, that he said it was a good meeting as well to me. Um, no predetermined ideas, but we're going to meet again about the debt ceiling and ways that we can find uh, ways for savings and put ourselves on a path to um, balance. I think that's very important. If you look any of the latest polls, 74 percent of Americans believe there has to be some savings in what we're spending. We're at 120 percent of GDP, meaning our debt is larger than our economy. It's one of the greatest threats we have to this nation. Um, and when I look at it, if you look at just the last 12 years in Congress, Republicans controlled eight years of that and Democrats controlled four. In the last four years that the Democrats controlled, they increased discretionary spending by 30 percent, more than 400 billion. Now, we had controlled it for twice as long. Discretionary spending during those eight years didn't go up one dollar. They actually went down 10 billion. So I know we can find savings and get our economy stronger. After um, when Republicans were in the majority, we were able to pass that tax package. Revenue into the government has never been higher. It's the highest revenue we've ever seen in. So it's not a revenue problem, it's a spending problem. So we'll continue to work on that. A couple of interesting things happen on the floor right now. You had almost, if you combine the number of Democrats who voted no and voted present, there's 100 Democrats that won't stand up against socialism. That's a real concern to me in America today. It's not just. That wasn't a college vote on a college campus. That was a vote in the U.S. Congress that 100 Democrats couldn't say socialism was wrong. That's a scary point of view, but you also understand why we're in a spending problem that they are when they were in the majority. That's why you understand the challenges that we have here. So let me stop there and take any questions you might have. Yes, sir. When you, the White House, said that the president's open to a talking about the debt ceiling in a separate discussion about ways to control spending. I mean, do you, what do you think about when you hear that, that they kind of want to separate those two is what they say? Which, whichever way they want to talk about it, I'm very clear. We will not pass a clean debt ceiling here without some form of spending reform. So there'll never be a clean one. I don't know how they want to say it. That's fine. But at the end of the day, we're going to get spending reforms. I, I believe you have to lift the debt ceiling. But you do not lift the debt ceiling without changing your behavior. So it's got to be both.